Alright, so we had a number of people asking for January 2018. These people asked for that. So we're gonna give people what they want, right? So this is question 9 we're asking for. Show by the calculation the exact roots of x squared plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. Other. So question 9 is traditionally completing the square 70% of the time they are completing the square. This is no different, they just didn't ask you to put it in the form like that, right? So this question involves completing the square, right? You could actually use the formula as well, but I feel you may be risking some math because they said show by calculation and the formula kind of, you know, docking some calculation, you just plug and play. The quadratic formula, I'm sick it up. All right, disclaimer. This video may not be as useful for students who are very, 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 very um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not so good in quadratics completing this square, right? So if you're not too hot in that, you're watching this video for amusement, right? Um, those who are a little better and they just want to understand the solution, there's your thing. So x squared plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. Yeah, it's more of a solutions video than a tutorial video. So let me just write back this for kicks. x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0. You know, when you complete any square, I'm going to do this using the, the long route. Some people will just plug it in into the formula and stuff, which is that next story. So x squared plus 2x minus 5, you pull out the a. There's a, a, and this is 1. So there's nothing to pull out. So let's just put our brackets around that so you know we follow our steps and we feel good about ourselves. If there was an a coming out here, the, this a would have been um, dividing by this this b here, so you know, there'll be over a to start with, right? Anyhow, so now you want to throw in something here to create to create a perfect square. The whole point of completing this square is creating a perfect square at the start of the quadratic equation. That's the whole point. And then you can do marvelous things with that, right? So x squared plus 2x minus 5. Blah, 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 blah. What's next? We need to divide this by 2 and then multiply that by itself. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 1 squared is 1. So we have x squared plus 2x and that number we are going to just pelt in right there. Bam! We have created a perfect square minus 5 not equal to 0. Why? Because we just throw that 1 into the equation to, to fulfill our needs. So you need to take him back out here x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 so everything is looking nice and pretty there once you have created this perfect square you say yes and you come now and you go x plus 1 because that's the factor you are building towards equals 0 right this may be a little weird for some people to understand as i said i'm not really doing a tutorial and this right now i'm just showing you solution more right so um sometime i'll do completing the square a little more in depth with a better example than this an example that has an a so you can see every step um, part by part. Alright, so let's keep going. Alright, what we want to do? Prove the roots. Okay, can you begin to see that these roots will form from this? Yes, because if I bring across the 6, do some square thing, bring across the 1, you already seen it, right? So you should be feeling it. As a, as a student who has practiced a lot, you should be feeling it, right? So x plus 1 squared equals 6. See where I'm going there? The 6 came across. Since it's equal to 0. Now to get rid of this squared, I will just write back that boom, the square is gone. But if I'm getting rid of it, it's coming across here. Now this is where the quadratic magic happens. Where is my red? Anytime you find the square root of a number, the square root of a number exists in the negative and positive form because you can get, for example, <coughs> the square root of 16 is 4 as well as negative 4. Right? So plus or minus. That's where this come come up from. So if you're unaware of that, this would have scared the Jebezas, the, 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 the hell out of you. But you know, that's plus or minus, right? That's where it came in. So x is equal to plus or minus square root of 6. Take away 1, I brought across the 1 to meet him. So is that looking like that? Yeah, pretty much. I can come back now and write the 1 first, plus or minus square root 6 after. This is 3 marks, collect your 3 marks, roll out. Okay, as you see, this is... This one could have been done pretty, pretty fast. I hope I was writing below what you could have seen there. Right, so, if I was, I apologize. So, all I did in the ending was x plus 1 is equal to plus or minus the square root of that, plus or minus, bring across the 1, join them up. Right, so you basically complete the square, get it in the form, 
this is the popular complete the square form and continue working out get your marks there the next part of this question asks us hence or otherwise some of the simultaneous equations boom so you should know that this is linear and this is non-linear because the two variables are being multiplied by each other right that's supposed to be watching you a little more right so the, the two variables are being what, multiplied by each other so this is non-linear this will form a curve this will form a straight line so we can solve that but before we solve that we want to pay attention to one word in this question hence hence means using information from before now so you can do it that way or, or you could come up with your own brand new thing and, and just work with this as if you didn't do anything before I advise the wise thing to do is don't use the other wise it's the easy hence right hence so what did we discover that this gives me this this gives me this that's one part one so I'm already sensing something here let's see if I can solve this so first things first you write your equations it's like a boss because everybody likes to write back equations now we could drop some labels on them equations there Anytime you're doing simultaneous equation, you know, label. And you always substitute the linear into the nonlinear. I recently released a video showing linear and nonlinear as well. Go and take a look at that. Alright, so y is already the subject of the formula. Beautiful, beautiful. That's gonna work well for us. So y is this. So anyway, I see y in the next equation. I'm just gonna throw it, throw in 2 plus x, right? <coughs> so x2 plus x equal. Fine. But before I do that, I should have write substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So um, x, and instead of writing y, I wrote this is equal to 5. So let's keep going. Multiply that out. I'm going to get 2x plus x squared, because x by that, and then x by that, right? Remember the x. Everybody get a taste of the x there. x by 2, 2x, two and x by x is x squared equal 5. x squared. Bring across the 5 now. We get x squared plus 2x. Notice what I do there. I just sneak in the x squared first because I already know what I'm aiming towards. x squared is first 2x minus 5. Where did we see this before? We saw this in, quest in the first part of this question. And when we solved this, what did we get? this so hence or otherwise solve the simultaneous equations that and if i'm not mistaken this goes for a nice piece of marks here let me see how much marks this went for boy this thing went for four marks best right so x squared um so therefore that three dots mean therefore we can see from part one was it part one i'm just going in part one right from part one x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 6. So now you can use your calculator to find the two values of x. Alright, my calculator is not here right now. Let me just go and get a calculator. Alright, so x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 6. This is going to help us get two different values. Negative 1 First, let's use the positive plus. Where's our square root sign? There he is. And I need to use second function, square root of 6. I really hope you all can see what I'm doing here. If not, use your imagination. 1.449. You know what? I feel into right 1.45 for that. Three significant figures, and everybody should be happy, right? So the first x value is 1.4. Five. I go do that. The next x value would be if I use a negative sign there. Yeah. So negative the square root, right? Because next one I'll use this negative one take away the square root of six. And lo and behold, I get negative three point four five for all intents and purposes. Nice, so that is the two values of x there, but you know it called um, these simultaneous equations, you can't leave x by himself. Always train yourself, not just x, not just x, I've got to find y as well, right? 
So you found X, you need to substitute. Which are looking good for the substitution, why? Why? This equation here looking good for the substitution. So I just need to throw in X there and I'll be able to find Y. So, um, so I can say Y1 would be equal to 2 plus X, which is 2 plus 1.45. I can do that in my mind. 3.45 people will feel paranoid and do this in the calculator in the exam. Real seriously. And y2 is equal to um, the same 2 plus x thing. 2 plus x is equal to 2 plus negative 3.45 is equal to negative 1.45. Once you find those two values, you find the x1, you find the y1, you're good to go. Right? So, this is the first part of the question. I am going to maybe stop this video and it's in a separate video or maybe I might just lengthen the video depending on the length of it so you would know because you see me after editing the question right so rewind the video take a watch at it make sure you understand